Okay. And now we're rolling. Yeah. Now you can okay, now you can be rolling. hilarious. Is rolling is that is that like a drug term? No, like no, no. It's driving. Term? It just means the wheels are rolling. It means oh. it, it means the wheels are spinning, which means our brains are working. We're thinking. That's all it means. Sure. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Two Guys lettuce. Talking About Lettuce. My name is Greg Benson. We're talking about lettuce. My name is Craig Benzine. Lettuce. Oh, man. I, th- I thought I was going to, like, set you up, lettuce. but then you, like, topped me. Lettuce. And because I thought you'd be like, uh, I can't top I'm that. But then you topped lettuce. me. You did it. Yeah, I did. Well, do you want to do it again? No, no, no. I, I, no, I feel it's, I okay. think it's fair. Like, you get, I get my yeah. shot, you get your shot, and you just happen to win this round. But, you know, that's Wait. one point for you. So far, I've had 93 points. Now you get one mm-hmm. point. You know, at first I was going to say, wow, you're being fair. And then, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not. I'm, yeah. I am being fair because you definitely got this point. I mean, you're... You're really good yeah. at it, and I'm, Wait, I'm proud of you. How did you get you. the 93 For the first points? 93 episodes, I got a point for each of those episodes, and then you got a oh. point on the 94th episode. That's what this one okay. is. I'm pretty oh, sure okay. this is episode 94. Hang on a second. Yeah, feels like episode 94. Okay, you just grabbed your boobs. Yeah, I, well, not my man boobs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, your man boobs. My chesticles, as they call them. Sure, and That's what yeah. men call them, is chesticles. No, no, I've never really called them that, and I don't know anyone who calls them that, at least genuinely uh my, that's what my mom always used to say okay she'd, your she'd mom be like she'd be yeah. like go clean your chesticles you know oh, why okay well why would you need to clean and your, i was a kid uh, i was a, I, I was a kid you know how kids get all dirty they get dirty around the chesticles area no no not specifically no that's, no i think that's, uh, that's what kids are like this is such a good no. podcast. So no, that's yeah. what that's what kids yeah. are like. They get dirty yeah. and they have to go clean their yeah. chesticles. Let's not, let's not talk about kids and their chesticles. This is inappropriate. Okay, a- especially right. since we really should be in in a a a quiet, uh, p- a perhaps dour and respectful mood this morning. Because I don't know if you know this about me, but I've always loved orange juice. I'm a big fan of orange juice. I okay, drink yeah. I drink it all I the time. I and know where this was going. The man who yeah. invented orange juice uh, died this morning. Orange juice Simpson apparently yeah. d- died yesterday or this morning or a week ago or whenever the fuck. I don't care. But okay. we need yeah. to show respect to to orange juice Simpson. Yeah, I am. Of uh, course, this isn't the first time that you've referred to orange juice Simpson. Well, that's because podcast. that's that's what it, that's what his name is, orange juice Simpson. Yeah. But but yeah. here's the deal. I, mm-hmm. I've, I have actually found out if I can stop joking around for a second. That he did not, uh, he did not invent orange juice. He was just mm. he was just a football player, but he was a very successful foot. In fact, let's just take a moment yeah. to to appreciate his accomplishments. O.J. Simpson, okay. was I have mm-hmm. here? I, I'm reading off his Wikipedia page. He was selected sure. to play in six we don't, Pro we Bowl don't games. To, no, I know this is important. No. Listen, the man no. died, and, I, and we want to we want to give him the respect he deserved. He was no. a first All Team uh, Pro selection five times. He was named right. to the NFL's All Decade Team of the '70s. He murdered two mm-hmm. people. He was on the NFL's yeah. 75th anniversary All Time Team mm-hmm. and the NFL yeah. 100 all-time team. I mean, that is a lot of accomplishments yeah. in one lifetime. Sure. It you is. Know? It is. Yeah. I mean, he did a lot of things. Yeah. And the guy did all those things. And yeah. and, and the, here's the thing about facts. Yeah. You can't dispute facts that he was able to accomplish all of this in one short lifetime. And may yeah. he rest in peace because it's not easy to, to do all, make all those accomplishments. Yeah. So my, while, while you were talking about this, Greg, uh, uh, first of all, he murdered two people, which is terrible. Um, but also, about well, that's, that's just one of his was, many accomplishments. A, he, he he accomplished yeah. a lot of things. Listen, don't just focus on that. Listen, he was on the all the first team All Pro selection five times from 1972 to 1976. I mean, that is a huge yeah. deal. You know, it it's and, pretty good. And this was years uh, before he murdered people. You know, he murdered yeah. those people years later, like 20 years later. Mm-hmm. You know, so I mean, he uh, yeah. did, he did so much stuff in his lifetime. Yeah. So so what did what did he do in the in the interim between those the, in uh-huh. the twenty years? Well, I mean, he he did uh, he did a lot of he was a sports commentator. You know, he did those mm-hmm. Hertz commercials. Remember, I'd run through the airport and he'd be like, yeah. "I gotta catch my airplane. I gotta go murder a couple of people." And no, uh, he, didn't, you know, no, he did he, that. He, he I, lo- I love those commercials. Commer- he did those. He, co- he did those orange juice commercials. He'd go, mm, "That's good yeah. orange juice." That's why they call me yeah. Orange Juice Simpson. No, no, uh, he he never. I don't think he ever promoted orange juice. He was in the he, uh, he was yeah. in the the Naked Gun movies. The, those those police squad he was, movies. That's he, right. He was very in those. very. That's f- actually how 
That's what I knew him from. Oh my god, he was so funny yeah. in those. And again, yeah. the, the and even those, those were several years before he murdered two people. So, well, I'm, I just think it's great that he was able to do so much in his lifetime. And mm-hmm. and the man deserves our our love and respect and I I really hope that he rests in peace um and that he enjoys yeah. You know, I'm I'm not uh, detecting hmm? that you're being genuine right now, Greg. I don't uh you seem to be focusing on his murdering of two people. No, no, no. As I said, uh, that's merely one of the things that he absolutely yeah. did in his lifetime. Sure. Merely yes. one of the things. Listen, a friend of mine is friends with Cato Kalin. And I was like, you ever ask yeah. Cato like, if, uh, if OJ really did it? And he goes, oh, yeah, I've asked him. He said, he said there's no doubt. Absolutely, he did it. <laughs> and wow. uh, Yeah. And so like, to hear that from Cato Kalin... Uh, it's pretty yeah. amazing. Pretty amazing. So uh, he never said that in court, though, did he? Probably no, you know what? I, a, lot, a lot of times, yeah. people sometimes people are embarrassed about their accomplishments. Yeah, sure, you know, yeah. even even when they have been successful at doing something like playing a Pro Bowl game, getting a bunch of yeah. touchdowns, murdering some people, being in movies. You know, wait, whatever. Wait, why it is would Cato be uh, embarrassed by that? Oh, oh no! I think he was just afraid for his life. Yeah, oh, that guy was afraid okay. for his life. He didn't didn't want to. He didn't want to be murdered. By O.J. Simpson, okay. you know, okay. because if there's one thing O.J. Simpson loved doing, it's murdering people. Okay, okay, Greg, we know <laughs> that you want to get this point across that O.J. Simpson <laughs> murdered people. I well, that that was uh, listen. I didn't mean for that to be the focus of what I'm saying. I'm just going to say it's one yeah. of the many. Look, can we just move on? I, all I'm saying okay. is rest in peace, O.J. Simpson. You've really accomplished a lot in your lifetime. Congratulations. Sure. Uh, um. I always wondered when I was in high school, like, why was this on TV the whole time, the whole trial? Why was it such a big deal? You know, I think it's because a lot of people, a lot of people love to see someone finally go slowly okay. on a freeway. Okay, sure. Okay. You know, I yeah. mean, because because people speed so much, and then finally it's like, oh, look at this white Bronco driving mm-hmm. slowly, carefully, respectfully. Yeah. And then they even had like a police escort. And I just thought, yeah. now that's that is great that they can drive like that. And it was good driving too. They stayed within the lines of their lane. Yeah, you, you know, sometimes see, people you some people people yeah. drift a little bit out of their lane. You know how they yeah you know how they drift. They just drift mm-hmm. a little bit. Yeah, and yeah. you're like beep beep. Yeah, you give them a little, you give them a friendly little beep beep. Yeah, especially if they're uh, being chased by police. You don't normally see such a uh, a friendly. Uh, car chase yeah you know? friendly like, safe uh, respectful i mean really i mean yeah. he should have been he should have been given another like heisman trophy or something just for mm-hmm. that drive because mm-hmm. it was so okay. good and sure sure he was riding in the back seat with a gun to his own head but mm-hmm. beso- but he was not the one driving and he was doing that he was prepared to kill himself because he knew that he was guilty because he murdered some people let's not talk about that that's not the okay. f- not, i don't mean to, to be the focus of this i'm trying to focus <laughs> on the good driving that was done yeah. there yeah, right. Uh, yeah. You know, and it, but he and wasn't the one driving. He, he was he was not the one driving, but but still yeah. just the fact that he was in the car with a gun yeah. to his own head. He should yeah. have been given another trophy just just for being a good passenger. You know what I mean? I think and maybe a trophy for, you know, knowing that he did this, but then continuing to deny it until the end, until yeah. he uh that's that's a that's something we can all learn here is that if you did something that you weren't supposed to do, just continue to deny it. And uh, if you're rich enough and uh, famous enough, you will get away with it. Yeah. So, also, here's, uh, a, here's a, little, a little tip for you yeah. guys. If you guys ever murder anybody and then in the courtroom they give you a pair of gloves to try on, be sure and stretch mm-hmm. your hands, your fingers out really wide and then go, ah, mm-hmm. I, can't, I can't get the gloves on. My fingers are too big. Oh, mm-hmm. see, they don't fit. See, see. Mm-hmm. So that's a, that's a, and then you'll get off. That's, that's all you mm-hmm. have to do. Then you get right off. Because no, wait, if, right, if the no, gloves get off? if the gloves don't yeah. fit, then you must yeah. take a shit. I think is what I think that's what Johnny uh, Cochran said. Okay, the late Johnny uh, Cochran. No, wait, did OJ take a shit? Then is that? Uh, well, maybe I got the quote wrong. I just I okay. remember the first part's right. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Let's can we okay. stop talking about OJ Simpson? Look, enough already. Uh. En- enough reverence. We have, we have shown him so much respect and reverence in this episode. I have not talked about him this much, maybe ever. I'm starting to think that he doesn't deserve all this respect we're giving him. Huh. I mean, now that I think that about it. Point? Is that well, your point you're now making? That, no, now that I'm thinking about it, if he murdered yeah. two people, which he did, yeah. then maybe he doesn't deserve this sort of respect we're giving him. Huh. Huh. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Huh. 
Maybe we don't then. I'm making a note here. Okay. Do not give O.J. Simpson any more respect. Great. Let's talk about okay. another hero of mine, Robert Blake. Uh, I'm a okay. big, big fan of Beretta. Yeah, right, right. And just the fact that that guy could do such a convincing character, murder his wife, and then go on to do other uh, movies and other things that he did, uh, yeah. I just I really think that he's that he was terrific, and uh, yeah, I'm, yeah. I miss Robert Blake. Okay, how about we don't talk about any celebrities that have murdered uh, people anymore? All right, how about I mean, yeah, okay. All right, so, just, we'll, so we'll just uh, talk about Bill Cosby and all the women that he raped. No, 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 no. We're not going to talk about that. Bill Cosby, no, yes, hilarious, com- an, hilarious comedian, no, no, made no, so no, many Greg. funny, funny comedy Greg. albums, raped so many women, okay. did a lot, did okay. a lot of uh, a lot of charity work, uh, loved jazz music, loved loved drugging women and then raping them while they were yeah. asleep. You know, he sure. did so many sure. things, and he was America's dad. I mean that that show, The Cosby Show, mm-hmm. was so I watched funny. That show oh as my a god! Kid. Oh my yeah. god! I know. And it's just, you know what? It is amazing that he had time to do all these things when he was, he must have been no, so busy no. raping. Greg, Greg. What's that? What's we, that? We don't have to, we don't have to talk about <laughs> I'm this just, anymore. I'm just saying, Bill Cosby, America's yeah. dad, everybody loves him. Yeah, he was yeah, great. Yeah. You know, um, yeah. Yeah. he did, he did rape a lot of women. Okay. Okay. But, yeah. Yeah. Greg. But a Greg. very good comedian. Greg, uh, wait, we, we can be done with this now. Okay. All right. I just want to say, yeah. I, you know, th- there have been a lot of, you know, here's the thing about celebrities. <laughs> You know, mm-hmm. they're just people. You know what I mean? You know, sure. how, do you remember? Yeah, I don't know if you ever watched, if you ever read that that uh, magazine, Us. You know, celebrities, they're just like us. You mm-hmm. know, they have mm-hmm. millions of dollars just like us. You know, yeah. they, they buy shoes that cost $4,000 a pair just like mm-hmm. us. Sure. They rape women. Okay. No, no, no. They don't all do that. Well, Bill Cosby does. Yeah, yeah. At least yeah, he did. Now, yeah. I now I think that he's so blind he probably can't see which are the correct pills to put okay, in ladies' okay. drinks. <laughs> so sure, he's like, sure. he's like, Camille, yeah. can you help me find the right pills? But oh, then, no. so oh, I can no. rape the ladies. Oh, oh no. Bill Cosby, he's terrific. Big fan. Yeah. Big yeah, big yeah. fan. Big fan of his yeah. work. I have all okay. of his albums. I really do. Strangely, one of his albums that he released in the 70s is Bill Cosby Talks to Kids About Drugs, and that's not a joke. Did you mm-hmm. ever hear the Bill Cosby routine Spanish Fly when he literally talks about a drug that knocks women out and, or puts them in the mood for sex or whatever? Yes, and then I you have can, heard that. Yeah, that, yeah, boy, that's a great routine. Thanks for that, yeah. Bill. That's terrific. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He was telling us years ago, mm. literally admitting it years ago. Decades ago. Anyway, I would appreciate if we could stop talking about Bill Cosby. That man's a terrific stand-up. Okay. Yeah, sure. I understand that. I will uh, take your concern into consideration, and I will stop talking about Bill Cosby. Speaking of uh, being a big fan of people, you know I'm a big fan of music. I, I don't know. We, we've never really talked about music on this stream before, right? But I, uh, I, yeah, I, yeah, I love yeah. music. Yeah, I know. That's not a... You're not taking a risk by saying that you love music. Well, I mean, a You're lot not, of people. Uh, a lot of people don't care for it. A lot of people get angry when there's music, you know. But I, uh, I personally love it. You know. Uh-huh. I, here's what I like to do. I like to listen to it. You mm-hmm. know. Okay. I mean, that's that's my thing. I use sometimes speakers, sometimes earbuds, sometimes headphones. You know, uh-huh. that's those are uh-huh. the things that I use to listen to the music. You're not. You're not. Um, you're not saying anything. Um, interesting <laughs> about <laughs> about music uh, well I, I okay but basically you get the idea yeah. though that i like music yeah. right i like i do yeah, like yeah. to listen to music and i'm sure. a big Joni mitchell fan you ever listen to Joni mitchell i've heard Joni mitchell oh yes. she's she was terrific and and you know what and mm-hmm. she's still alive but she was yeah. terrific so anyway she recently uh, i don't know if you saw this and this is absolutely true elton john received the gershwin prize uh I guess, I guess, mm-hmm. I guess for having like the most, like a really good Schwinn bike, a really, the most Gershwin or whatever. Like I don't know yeah, how the yeah. I don't know how the contest is run, but he won the uh-huh. Gershwin contest, and so he then received yeah. the Gershwin prize. However, yeah. that works. I think it's a bike race. 
I think, okay, uh, I don't know how you guys have to look yeah. it up, but I imagine that I imagine he's got very strong legs from all that sitting up and standing down he does at the piano. Sometimes he'll stand up while sitting, playing the piano, yeah, and then he'll sitting sit down. up and standing down. You said sitting up and standing down. That's right? what I. That's what I said. Yeah, sitting up and standing yeah, yeah. down. You should. I would. I think you should apologize for uh, saying it wrong. No, 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 no you've think, obviously never I, uh, seen. You've no. obviously never seen Elton John in concert. Have you? Okay. Have you ever seen uh, Elton John? He that I've man. Never, that man sits up and stands down. Okay, no, yeah. Greg, that's not what you meant. That, I think no, you should that's apologize, what he, Greg, No, I'm not going to apologize Greg. because that's exactly what I meant, and All that's right. what I he will does. Give you, I will give you until the end of this episode to apologize. I'll let you uh, think about I'm, it. I'm sorry, I said some words. Okay. I'm okay. sorry, I'm sorry All right. everybody. I said words. Okay. Anyway, uh, uh, so, so you can look it up on YouTube because Joni Mitchell was asked to sing a song, and she chose the song, I'm Still Standing. You know the song, I'm Still Standing? I do, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Still standing. Right. Except except good. Anyway, mm, yeah, right, right. so she was invited to sing it, and, and this is absolutely true. I'm not making this up. Joni Mitchell, being so Joni Mitchell and being the songwriter that she is, asked her friend Elton because they're close friends. They're like they're like this, you know? They're like this. That's that's far apart. Yeah. Well, no, I mean, yeah. but, I mean but no, but they're, it's inches, inches apart. Sure. I mean, you know yeah, what? What do you want them to be on top of each like- other? Sounds like not a great friendship. No, 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 no. They, they literally, they're like inches away from each other. You want them okay. to be on top. Like, this is two people having sex. This is oh, them okay. having sex right here. They're not, she's okay. not going to have sex with Elton John. The, first okay. of all, the man's married. He's not interested in her. He's gay. It's He's yeah. not going to want to have sex with Joni Mitchell. Sure. And look, okay. a lot of people wanted to have sex with Joni Mitchell, like in the late 60s through the 70s. Mm-hmm. I don't think a mm-hmm. lot of people want to have sex with her now. I don't mean to, okay. if, I don't mean Gre- to, Greg. I don't Greg. mean to be Why ageist. Why do you got to be ageist? I'm, I don't mean Why? to be ageist. I'm just saying a fact. Yeah. Like, uh, if people looked at a picture of her right now, they're like, eh, I'll pass on Joni. I'll pass mm-hmm. on present day Joni Mitchell. But if there's a you time know, machine that takes me back to 1972, there- yes, I will have sex with her in 1972. Okay. All right. So maybe that's true. But let's let's be balanced and fair here. Fewer people want to have sex with you or I the, than they used to, probably. No, no, no. Men get more handsome as they get older. Not that's, us, that's, though. No, Not no. Us. Are you kidding? Look at me. Can you, okay. if you're watching the YouTube video, look at this fucking face, man. Look at okay. this, look at this fucking All face right. right here. Okay. I'm, I'm, okay. A, I'm a sexy bitch. I'm okay. a sexy, sexy bitch. Anyway, so Joni that, Mitchell, being Joni Mitchell. That's the trailer for our podcast yeah. right there. <laughs> Joni yeah. Mitchell asked her friend Elton John, and this is absolutely true. I swear I'm not making this up. If she could change the lyrics to I'm Still Standing, if she could rewrite the lyrics so that they, she could modernize them and so that they would suit her better. And she really did this. And, and there's a YouTube video. If you guys don't believe me, you can look it up on YouTube. And she sings, I'm still standing with these new lyrics. And I think they might be some of her best lyrics. Okay. Can I hear what they are? Oh, yeah. I've listened to it so many times I haven't memorized. Uh, okay. Uh, you will never know what it's like having your head put on a pike you'll never change your name to spike and by the way i'm still standing give me a chair right now i mean it's just these are great mm-hmm. lyrics i mean mm-hmm. that's that's mm-hmm. top notch stuff yeah that doesn't sound like that's real no that's a comedy bit that i wrote this morning i, mm-hmm. I was singing the song and i'm like yeah. oh i got to do this whole bit about Joni Mitchell she actually did rewrite the lyrics but i'll i'll admit to you guys yeah. i was being a funny guy I was being oh, Mr. Funny Man. Greg. Yeah, waka waka, being Greg. silly and funny. And uh, uh, those are not the lyrics that she sang. Those are different lyrics uh, that I made up. Okay. But wow. you guys now have uh, that stuck in your head for the rest of your life. Every time you hear, no, I you hear Elton John, you're going to hear that those lyrics, no matter what Elton John song you hear. I already forgot who, what we were talking about. Oh, yeah, me too. So, me too. Okay. Something about orange juice. Uh-huh. Did you see the eclipse, Greg? No, but a friend of mine and his wife and their son or daughter, I forget, went to went to Dallas, Texas to actually see mm-hmm. it. And mm-hmm. uh, and I understand that it was pretty outstanding. I, I, I did go, well, you said, I, I said no, but actually I did. I just didn't see a full eclipse. I went out, mm-hmm. I had some glasses that I put on. Um, yeah. You know, the, the secret to, to cutting down glare, you take the lenses out of the glasses. So, okay. so I did, I did yeah, that. Yeah. Looked at, so that way they're just the frames, and that way there's no there's no glare on the lenses. So I yeah, went out yeah. there, I saw it, um, and let me tell you something. Looking at the eclipse, it's very painful. Yeah, it, yeah, it sure. hurts a lot. 
Yeah, you know when you, when it's in totality, when the when the moon is completely covering the sun, you can look at it without glasses, and it doesn't hurt. Well, now that's that's uh, amazing. That's how I feel uh, about anything in totality. If there's anything in totality, you can look at it, and it doesn't hurt. Like like what? Like a full burger? Yeah. Or, uh, like if the burger is there and no one's taking a bite yeah. out of it, you can look right at that burger, and you'd but be like, it, "Oh, my eyes don't hurt." What if some? What if someone takes a bite out of it and then you look at it? So you better not look at it. That's all. That's all right. I'm saying. <laughs> I mean, I I feel like I've seen burgers that mm. have bites taken out of them. Listen, listen. Uh, the yeah. the last thing you want to do is mislead our viewers and and have them do okay. something that's going to hurt themselves. So viewers, yeah. if anyone ever takes a bite out of a burger, you avert avert thine eyes, as they say in the Bible. Listen, uh, what Greg is telling you is uh, wrong, and you can. <laughs> You you're gonna hurt. You're gonna you're gonna blind somebody you just because you're burgers. trying to pr- just because you're trying to prove a point. You're gonna blind a person. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. If you get blind from this, it's for other reasons. It's <laughs> or it's a it's, it's a probably, wild coincidence. Probably from the masturbating wild. too much, right? I understand I mean, that if you be, masturbate yeah. too much, you can go blind. Is that true? That is also not true. I don't know. Um, I I do know a blind yeah. guy, and I'm assuming it's because he masturbated too much. So all, what you just said there is that you just assumed something. You didn't, there was no proof that you just said. Well, was, I mean, I, uh, well, Ray Charles is Ray Charles actually was blind also, but he wasn't born blind. So I think that as a young boy, he probably probably masturbated again, too much. Again, that all you just said was I think something. That was not. Uh, yeah, there was I no mean, proof so it's, in that it's, I mean, so it's a, probably a fact. Yeah. It's probably a fact. No, and, it's, and there's proof there. No. That's all I'm saying. No, that no, he no. he masturbated too much and he went blind, and. Okay. Uh, you're not so, giving proof. You're just saying the, the Stevie Wonder. Again. Stevie yeah. Wonder, another guy masturbated another, another way blind too much. Person. Yeah, another blind. Okay, but why? How do you know that? Well, come on. I mean, he, you know, I mean, who who doesn't who doesn't masturbate too much? I mean, just think about okay, it. Okay, well then. Okay, well then, why isn't everyone blind? Well, we will be eventually. I mean, look, you and I are already wearing glasses. That's all I'm saying. Mm-hmm. That's all I'm okay. saying. You and I are. You and I both wear glasses, and without my so glasses, you're just saying, I can't. So you're I can barely see. That's true, I guess. So yeah. you're saying uh, we just need to we just have, we're not doing it enough to to go blind. Is what yeah, saying. you need to do it more, Craig. You okay. really need to you really need to concentrate. Commit. Right. What about you? What about I you? I know. I do. I know. I do too. I'm getting there. My eyesight's pretty bad. Okay. Good. Uh, Greg. 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 The eclipse was amazing. We went to Dallas. Yeah. yeah tell me about it because you actually went. You saw the a total solar eclipse which is a rare thing it only happens like every mm. five six months or whatever so no tell me no tell me what it's you're not gonna tell me what it's about it, it happens more rarely than that and only in certain places so yeah well you were just lucky uh, that you happened to be in texas during the eclipse yeah i mean it was a plan it was the plan though really but, uh, you planned yeah. that man that's yeah, lucky did. you're so lucky that you happen to plan that right at the same time as the eclipse that's I mean, not what, 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 what are the odds that's, that's not luck. That's uh, very lucky. The odds, yeah, the odds aren't even involved. Uh, I, I mean, I'm thinking uh, the odds are like a hundred percent. If you plan mm-hmm. to be there and then the eclipse yeah. happened, that's like a hundred percent. I guess. I mean, I mean, so, sometimes plans go awry, so we were lucky enough that the plans worked. Mm, I love and, a good awry. Yeah, I know. I knew. I knew if I used the word like awry, something was going to happen. Uh, Use yeah. any word, uh, something's going to happen it's with me. True. I love yeah. words. But it was cloudy intermittently throughout the day, and then when the total eclipse happened, the clouds parted. It was meant to be. It was. Oh it God. was incredible. That's yeah. that sounds remarkable, and I'm so glad you were able to witness that. And I and I want to hear yeah. more details. But first, it's time for the Patreon only bonus section, which starts right now. This portion of two guys talking about lettuce has been edited out for your listening inconvenience. If you wish to hear the complete, unedited version with the bonus talking, be sure to visit patreon.com slash two guys talking about lettuce. And now, back to the edited, not as good version of the podcast. Podcast. 
And that's the, the end of the Patreon only bonus section, which was really good. If you mm-hmm. are a patron, you're going to hear some surprising secrets and and hilariousness that no mm-hmm. one else hears. And guys, it's only three dollars a month. And you know what? What else can you do with three dollars? Oh, oh, I have three ones here. Maybe I'll shove them in my butthole. Don't shove yeah. them in your butthole, listeners. Go, go put them in the computer and then make the computer yeah. go to Patreon. I don't know how it works. Uh-huh. And they go yeah. to the you Patreon. Could, I mean, probably don't even need to use cash. You can just. You know, I think you. Well, that's what that slot on the for the in the computer or, for. What what else would the yeah. slot be for? That's this cash slot. You put it in the computer mm. and say, what "Computer, slot? go to the what, the lettuce guys what? Patreon page." And then it goes uh, there, and you say, "Are you pl- talking about like the the SD card slot? On whatever the side whatever of a that slot is that you fold up the uh, money, you put okay. it in the slot. You have to put and no. you have to shove it in hard for it to get in there. Yeah. But once you shove yeah. it in there, then you then but you've then got what, that credit. No, you've done this before, I assume. You've shoved I have done, money. Yeah. Into, well, that's what I. I what was, is the indication that you got it in there? Like, does it give you some sort of alert that it yeah. says, "Oh, one dollar. Oh, yeah, yeah, $1. it does. On screen, it says you now have three dollars credit." It says mm. that, and or then you can use did it, it. Say that before you put you, the money in, though. No, no, no. It, it, when you, as soon as you put the money in it, it, it does that, and then that's that's how you listen. Why yeah. don't Why don't more computers accept cash? You know, you I know mean, that, that's a serious question. Because it's unnecessary. Some people they, have cash and they they want to yeah. spend it. You know, they're just like, what am I going to do with this money? You know, I got a seventy five dollar mm-hmm. bill here. I don't know what to do with it. I, I got to spend this money. Just put it in an account. Yeah. Uh, and seventy five dollar bill is not a thing. Um, but <laughs> yeah, say that to my seventy five dollar bill. Okay, show me the seventy five dollar bill. Oh, I don't have one with me, obviously. Yeah, obviously. I, I keep my wallet downstairs. Uh huh. That's where my wallet lives. In my, it, go it's got its, it's got its own little house. It's got its own little wallet house that I keep it I, in. I've, I've been to your house. I don't remember seeing a. You don't wallet remember the house. wallet house? No. It's a house that's made out of my old wallets. You know how you get a new wallet like every month? Yeah. Well, yeah. I well, what I do is I've I built a wallet house out of my last say 450 to 500 wallets. That's that's kind of morbid cuz I, glue, like, I think about I glue them together with gorilla glue. That's a bunch of dead wallets that a live wallet is living in. That's correct. Inside. Yeah, yeah. That's that's right. That's, but I, but that's I, like, I, I that's I, like building a house out of your ancestors. But it's and really then living in it. It's really well. I've done that too. But we won't talk about that. Okay. But I, but I okay. you know I, I I made it beautiful. I installed like LED lights so it's all lit up on the inside, and then I put uh-huh. it in like the servo motor so the thing just goes and the top opens. You know that the roof uh-huh. just kind of opens up. You know, like a regular mm-hmm. house, and then you can just yeah. drop your no. wallet in there. Yeah. And. Uh, and that's where it is. And that's your wallet house. My wallet house. Yeah. Okay. Um, Craig? Yeah. I feel Craig. like that was it. I feel like we uh, that was the last thing we needed to say. We oh, so the, the name of this episode is Wallet House? I, yeah, I guess so. How to make a wallet house? That's no, probably I mean, that's better. Last, that's the last thing we will ever say. That's it. Really? We said it all. Yeah. All right. That's fair enough. I think, do you remember? Don't you remember when we started this podcast, we said... Uh, we will know when we're done with this podcast, and it'll be when we talk about my wallet house. Because I, I have forgot about nothing that. else. I yeah. forgot about that. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I guess the rest of this episode is just going to be pretty awkward then. All right, I'm just going to drink some water. <clears throat> okay, I have water as well. I'm going to drink some. Hey, of speaking that. of water. I went mm. to a went to a liquidation sale recently. Wait, so we have more bought, to say? We have yeah. more to say? No, I'm just saying, oh. I, speaking of what, I went to a liquidation sale recently, okay. bought some water, some juice, some some sodas. Um, okay. I really stocked up on liquids. And Yeah, uh, but they, they, I'm sure they had other things there, uh, this liquidation. No, no, it's just center. a liquidation sale. All they had was liquids. And, okay. And, and, and let me tell you something, I feel so hydrated did you drink everything you bought? I did. I did. Because, I, I, you know, okay. guess one thing that I like to do with liquids, this takes me back to Orange Juice Simpson, you know. Is oh, that, God. I love, mm-hmm. I love orange juice. I love, uh, and, I, and I rarely drink it because that thing's full of yeah. sugar. You know, listen, you yeah. eat an orange, that's pretty good for you. You squeeze yeah. all the juice out of an orange, all of a sudden, not so good for you. That's right. It, I mean, orange juice, is, if it has pulp in it, it ha- it's a little better for well, you. Yeah, then you juice. get some fiber, but you have a pulpless yeah. orange juice and you're just drinking yeah. sugar. It's true. Juice itself is just mostly a sugar drink. Yeah. It's not even it's not even that good for you. God, listen to us talk about our health, huh? 
Mm-hmm. We are healthy people. We're giving, giving I have, facts to the listeners that they will I have never, carry with them. Never, never cared so much about health as I do this stage of my life. Well, I, sure. You're, I, you're, I don't you're, know. You're getting what, older. What? You you want to live a long time for your child? Yeah. Or chill. Yeah. I don't know how many children you have, but you want to live a long time one? for them. Yeah, just the one, yeah. just that one boy. No, it's it's a girl. Okay, uh, whatever. You know, yeah. you listen. I don't like to put labels, you know, on kids. You can label them if you want, but I'm I I, I, mean, I leave it up to the child to decide. She de- she did decide. She she she's a girl. She yeah. identifies as a girl. She, yeah, that's what she says. Yeah. Okay. So all right. I yeah. mean, she's a little too young to know. I mean, she might change her mind later. Uh, okay. Which sure, is that's fine. True. You know, and yeah. she can do whatever she wants. You know, that's we live in we yeah. live in a modern a modern age now, a modern society. I agree. People can be yeah. who they want to be, and I feel that that's fantastic. And I yes. and honestly, and honestly, mm-hmm. I don't need any of your pushback about it. Oh, okay. Uh, there there isn't any, but uh, <laughs> okay. Well, I'm glad there isn't because yeah. I don't need yeah. any. Is all I'm yeah. saying. If I can't remember. I, I care <clears throat> so much about my health now. I can't remember what it was <clears throat> like. I don't know what I was thinking. I would just eat a lot, mm-hmm. eat until I was like too full. Yeah, and I would eat anything. anything. Well, I, I will admit, it's not I, tree I, nuts. I, I, not, not. I, I kind of did that yesterday because uh-huh. because yesterday I had a colonoscopy um, up my butthole, mm-hmm. and okay. so that no, that's ended... implied. You don't you don't have to say that, that's the only place you get the colonoscopy. Okay, is, all right, yeah, yeah. So, but, but I'm just I'm just saying that I had one of the butthole colonoscopies. That's okay. That's yeah, the, that's yeah. The kind, are there other kinds of colonoscopies? Kind of I, had. I don't are really there? know. I mean, I'm not a doctor. It's you know, I don't colon know. colon is in the word colonoscopy. Okay, so it's yep. like, it, it's in the colon. Uh-huh. So, which okay. is in my butthole is what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. So, it's it's up deep inside the butthole. Right. You don't even have to. You don't have to say how far up. Okay. You don't have to say. I, I don't even know how far uh, up. I was asleep, man. They give you oh, propofol. Okay. They give me some propofol, okay. and I was, I was. I, and let me tell you something. You never sleep so well than a, than mm. than a propofol nap. I should probably start taking that. Yeah, get some of that. Sometimes. I mean, just ask yeah. your doctor. Say, Hi, give me some yeah. propofol. I want to take. I want to take some of that at home. And it's, I'm sure it's perfectly yeah. safe. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so yeah. so three yeah. days ago, you know, you have to start this low residue diet. You have to eat things uh-huh. that don't make you poop. You have stuff like white bread and tortillas and chicken and avocados and eggs and stuff like that, which is fine. You can deal with that mm-hmm. for a couple of days. Then the day before is the not fun day. That's the liquid only diet where you you get mm-hmm. to have Jello or broth. Is that or why popsicles. you went to the liquidation sale? Is that why? It is exactly why I went there to get all the yeah. liquids. Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah. thanks for tying this all together. Thanks for the callback. You're right. Yeah. And yeah, then yeah. You, and then you take. And it used to be like this nasty liquid that you had to drink. Now it's just pills. You take like a dozen pills twice, uh-huh. once at night and then once the next morning, and then a bunch of you drink a bunch of water, and then you just and then you shit yourself, and you're like, mm-hmm. why aren't why didn't I make sure I was near a bathroom? You know, right? And yeah. if there's well, one thing that, well, that I can suggest, yeah. that's that's what I was going to suggest to our listeners. Yeah. yeah, when you do this, make sure you're near a bathroom. Were you not? Like where were you? I didn't think about it, so I was yeah, I was I was just out. Were you out in the desert? Or no, like, no, where, no. Where? I went to uh, I went to a, a restaurant. I went to a nice restaurant. Okay. At and like what time did you do this? It was about eight o'clock. Eight o'clock uh, two eight. two nights ago. Eight o'clock at night. Okay. I, was, I was at uh, Spago, uh, uh-huh. by Wolfgang Puck. Beautiful yeah, yeah. restaurant in Beverly Fancy. Hills. Re- really good yeah. food, and mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure they don't have any restrooms there. I didn't ask. Uh huh. But sure. But I'm just sitting there, and I'm just and the they, delicious they, pastas. They legally have to have restrooms. I, I'm sure I don't that, know if yeah. that. I mean, every once in a while, you'll go into a business, and it'll say, you know, restrooms are for customers only. But yeah. but Kim was buying, so I wasn't technically the customer. Anyway, oh, so I'm okay, just sitting sure. there eating pastas and oh, and and the different uh, uh, pizza, all the stuff that I'm you're not supposed to eat when you prepare for you colonoscopy. Had pasta and pizza. I had pasta, had pizza, like- and I had. Uh, some dra- cranberry sauce and some Boris okay. Karloff salad, and I had some oh. tree nuts, and I had some okay. lips. I can't, I can't have those. Okay. Yeah. No, you can't have lips. Now, does a Boris Karloff salad have nuts in it? I, I actually don't know what's in it. Okay. okay. I'm just assuming. Sounds like, sounds like you ate, well, you ate maybe too much, but also weirdly. It I shouldn't very, have eaten those. It, when you're preparing for a colonoscopy, you're not supposed to eat anything, so I don't even know why I was at yeah. a restaurant. But yeah. anyway, it turns Cranberry out it was fine. Cranberry sauce also, it doesn't yeah. seem like it goes well with, with the rest it, of it. For one thing, yeah. you're not supposed to eat anything red in case they confuse it with blood. But here's, yeah. this is me just yeah. saying to anybody listening, if you're 50 years up 
or 50 years old or higher, go get yourself mm-hmm. a colonoscopy. It's really no big deal. And, uh, Wait, and you, it, you and, left out the part of the story where you shit yourself. Uh, yeah, I did shit myself, yeah. Okay, okay, cool. So go get yourself a colonoscopy. Yeah. Make sure you're near a bathroom so that you don't shit on yourself. You shit in the, I would yeah. recommend the toilet. You know how a bathroom has like, it's got a, usually a shower and a sink and a toilet? I'd choose yeah, the not toilet. A, not a public bathroom doesn't usually have a shower. Well, I think if you're going to do this, you probably should stay home. Yeah, yeah, okay. You know, a home where you have a shower and a sink and a toilet to choose from. Mm -hmm. And you could shit in any of them. I'm not going to stop you. But it it would probably be best if you're shitting in the toilet instead. Because I don't think we need to... There's going to be a lot of it. Detail all of this. Okay, all right. I won't. I'm just. I'm just trying to help people stay healthy. Yeah. Here, a colonoscopy will will tell you if you've got any polyps in there that are precancerous. Uh If you just let those things go, guess what? You're going to get fucking colon cancer, and you will die the most painful death you could possibly die. Wow. So I'm gonna say, you know, inconvenience yourself for a day and have a liquid uh-huh. diet and then take some medicine that makes you poop so that you can go in there and then they and then the whole procedure takes like 15 minutes. You sound minutes. very hostile, Greg. Well, like, I, I feel I, like... Listen, I'm trying to save uh, lives and when when you're trying to save people's people lives... Are, I think, think most people, if, they, if the doctor tells them to get a colonoscopy, they're going to get a colonoscopy. I disagree. I think, first of all, some people don't like doctors and they don't even go to doctors. Well, that's, and well, I that's bet true. we have people who are 50 years up and higher who have not had colonoscopies, and I bet they haven't even had their shingles shots, which you should get a shingles vaccine as well. Um, yeah. You, because these are things that you don't want in your life. You know, a, a, a minor inconvenience will lead mm-hmm. to uh, you preventing yourself from dying a horrible, horrible death. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. I mean, I'm tra- you still I'm, could, but I'm, tra- but I'm trying to save lives here. Unrelated to that, yeah. I'm just trying to save yeah. lives. Did I, I appreciate sa- that? Did Greg. I save any lives? Uh, l- leave a comment. Let us know if your life was saved. Yeah, and if you can't leave a comment, just raise your hand. Like if you, if you're listening yeah. to this right now and I've saved your life, yeah, raise your hand. It, it you would not be the first life that I've saved. Really? Yeah, I've saved a lot of lives. I mean, there are there are a few times where like my my daughter was walking the wrong direction and maybe could have gone out into traffic and I pulled her back. So Absolutely. Like, so uh, I say, I guess I've saved yep. a life. There was yeah. one time when my son uh, was choking on a thing and I, and I had just taken a CPR class and I knew to calmly, and he was a little baby and he was just starting to eat and he was choking on a thing. He was literally uh-huh. choking and I picked him up. I turned him upside down, hit him on the back until the thing went and it came out. And I use gra- you use gravity. You turn them upside down, hit them on the back. Yeah. You can't do that with a with a grown up. By the way, you can't just pick up a grown up easily, flip them upside mm-hmm. down, hit them on the mm-hmm. back. Have I you mean, tried? If you're, have you tried? If you're strong enough, you could do it. Or like if you like, let's say if you live with a little person, you might be able mm-hmm. to lift up a little person and flip them upside down. I mean, if yeah. you do, if you do with, live with a little person, why don't you just pause the podcast for a second, go over to them, lift them up, turn them upside down. <laughs> Just to make sure that you have the energy and the power to do it, the strength. Yeah. Uh, or, or no, or just do the Heimlich when you need to. Uh, but if you wait until then, what I'm saying is, you don't yeah. know if you have the 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 strength to turn your sure. little person roommate yeah. upside down. So if you live with a little person, please right now say, go grab them, turn them upside any, down, if, and or any them. person. You might be stronger than you think. You might be. Uh, yeah. You, you might just be. Yeah. <sighs> we should give them just a minute in case they forgot to pause the podcast before they're going to their little person roommate, turning them upside down and shaking them. You mm-hmm. never know. If you turn a person upside down and shake them, you never know what's going to come out. They're, it's kind of like a pinata. You know, there might be prizes mm-hmm. in there. There might be candy. No. no. <laughs> I mean, there might be like partially eaten candy. Yeah. yeah. Do you think that that's why sometimes you hear that someone's been brutally beaten with a baseball bat? Do you think that that's why because the person who had the bat thought that there might be candy inside? <laughs> oh my uh, God. That's I one think of the that's the darkest things I've ever said. <laughs> I, I think that's unlikely, Greg. I think that's, that's unlikely. That's literally that's, that's one of the darkest thoughts that's ever come into my that brain. Is, and that is saying something. That is saying <laughs> wow. something. This Holy is Greg Benson shit. we're talking about. Wow. Wow. Yeah. That was going too far. See, That's... this is why this is why we were supposed to stop at the the wallet house. That's why yeah. we were supposed we to stop. We should have stopped at that or at least talking about all the water. Mm-hmm. Speaking of water, you know how they say you can okay. lead a horse to water? 
but you can't make it drink. Have you ever uh, tried yeah. to lead a horse to water? No, I yeah. have rode. I have ridden a horse once in my yeah. life, and you never, and you never led it to any water. No, the horse kind of led me. Okay, well yeah. that's good because I because I can't even lead the horse to water. I've tried. I've just yeah. said, "Come on, Wait, so come on, horse, there's some water over here." No, no, I've just gone up to like a random horse. You know, it just says okay. lead a horse. It doesn't say lead your horse to water. Sure, you right. can lead a horse to water. Is what the uh, what the, how the expression mm-hmm. begins. Mm-hmm. And I've tried, and that horse would not budge. Okay. And I even so said maybe- to him, I was, I was like, "Come on, Dick." I thought if I if I just okay. like <laughs> intimidated a little bit, what? come come wow. with me, Dick. You know why? I mean, why? Well, why would you do that? To be honest, the horse was being kind of a dick. What was the horse doing? It's just you know, just the way that it looked at me. Yeah, you know how a horse can give uh, you that side eye. You know, sure. how they sort of look yeah. like you can only see one eye, but they sort of looking at you. Give that's you that just side where eye. their eyes. That's where their eyes. Not this horse. Head. I could tell. Oh. This horse oh, was okay. being a dick. Okay. And I, actually, and I, the horse I rode was be, kind of being a dick. Yeah, uh, I well, rode a. Yeah. Well, you know I, what? I, yeah. Fuck the horse you rode in on. Not you, though. Okay. okay. Yeah. I mean, I didn't ride it in anywhere. I was outside. Okay. I I, I, yeah. I, I don't like that expression, fuck you and the horse you rode in on, because what if they what didn't did ride the horse in on a do? horse? Yeah. I and, mean, what, uh, okay. first of all, what did the horse do? And also, how do you know they're riding a horse? You know? Yeah. Most people arrive, like, in a car, or they take the subway. Yeah. Some people take the yeah. subway or a, a bus. Sometimes an sure. Uber. You don't. You don't have to list all the transportation. Fuck sure. you and the lift that you hired to get you here. Yeah, I mean that's that's kind of rude to the lift driver. Yeah, but yeah. fuck that guy. Why? I don't know. It's the way he was looking at me. No, we're not talking about a specific lift driver now. Oh, okay. I was thinking of that one specific guy. Okay. okay. Clem. What was he? How- how did Clem look at you? Clem was kind of you know how you know how he has that eye just on the side, and he sort of gives you that side no, eye. I think you're like thinking that. of the horse now. He, well, he was a horse. Or Clem, okay. Clem was a horse who drove his own lift. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm I think making this. this is a okay, dream you I'm, had. I'm make, I no, I'm making this up. I made this up. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, this okay. is not okay. real. This is not real. Oh, kind of okay. like the Joni so, Mitchell listen, lyrics. Listen, listen, everybody. Yeah? I'm sorry about this. I know that Greg is normally very factual, and you believe. Everything he says because of his credibility. Um, this time, apparently, he made something up, and we are going to we will we will personally submit this episode to the FCC. Wow! And uh, we will uh, accept the consequences. Really? Is that what we're going to have to do? Yep. Look, yep. all I'm saying is that horse doesn't know you, and it doesn't want you to take it anywhere. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Well, what if the horse does know you? What if they? What if? Oh, they, then you can lead it to water just fine. I, but, okay. but it doesn't say you can lead a horse that you know to water. It doesn't say that. It just says you can lead sure. a horse, which means any horse. Well, I, you. Well, then maybe you need to get to know the horse first, and it, you could. It could be any horse. You just yeah. have to get to know it. First. Why is why is why is that the saying? You can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. Why isn't it about food? You can lead a horse to lasagna, but you can't make uh-huh. him have a serving or two. Well, because typically you are leading a horse. If you if you are someone who rides a horse or owns a horse, you are leading it to water. You're not. What if that horse is hungry? What if what if what if it's lasagna time? Well, a specific food seems a little. It's not it's not general enough for a saying to apply everywhere because like it's too specific. Lasagna. I mean, I love but lasagna. Yeah. I th- frankly, yeah. I think that any horse that tried lasagna would try it and go like. Damn, Greg, that's pretty good, you know. So even if you weren't there, they would say, "Damn, Greg." No, 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 no. no. If, if uh, no, come on, man, I'm trying to be serious. Uh, okay, if you sure. t- if you lead a horse to lasagna, and if that horse yeah. tries the lasagna, I think that horse would really enjoy it. That's all I'm saying. You know, I'm not saying the horse wouldn't enjoy lasagna. I'm just saying, <laughs> as a saying, that's not. All right. It's, can can we not, call this work. episode "How to Get a Horse to Eat Lasagna"? Uh, or if you lead a horse to lasagna, mm, I don't like that as much. People like how to episodes because then they know they're going to learn something. Okay, Greg. All right, listen. Title it whatever you you goddamn want. Okay, that's what I'm going to title it. Okay. And and people won't won't get the payoff until the very end of the episode, which is right now. Yeah. Thank you for listening, everybody. Lettuce. This has been two guys talking about lettuce, I'm and my name is Greg lettuce. Beston, and my name Lettuce-ton. is Craig. I'm 
talking about lettuce. Yes, it is. Lettuce. Yes. Thanks yes, for listening, everyone. Yes. We will I'm see you next week, lettuce. same time, same channel. I'm talking about lettuce. I'm talking about lettuce. Goodbye. Oh, that's a, that's a good thing lettuce. to say at the end. Yeah, yeah, you just say goodbye. Mm-hmm.